Hello everyone, today I am bringing you the battle of the black pencils. Black wig versus the black warrior. Two very well known, very epic pencils. One is a lot more expensive than the other. I'm going to show you how they both perform and give you my recommendations at the end. And before we begin, if you enjoy this content, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel so you get notified for future videos like this. I post art supply reviews, painting tutorials, and speed painting videos. So if you like this kind of content, I hope to see you in my channel again. I'm gonna compare one of the most expensive pencils in the market, the Palomino Blackwing, and a knockoff, quote unquote knockoff, by Murado Papermate, they're owned by Papermate, called the Murado Black Warrior. So the black wig has a huge following. It is quite pricey. The prices can range, I looked this online in different websites, from $2 per pencil to $4 per pencil, depending where you buy it. And the Murado Black Warrior can range from 25 cents per pencil to about 69 cents per pencil. So very huge price difference. The black wig is about four times as expensive as the Murado. And I mean, it has a cult following. I haven't really used it much. I was so curious because I heard about it so much in other YouTube channels and in art communities that I had to do a little research about it and buy one to try it out. I haven't really tried it out. I did um, sharpen this one. So I went to the website for the black wing and it says that it is Japanese graphite. So it's actually... I think it's made in Japan from what I understand. It has a semi-hex shape, a debossed imprint, iconic design, timeless and distinct look, <laughs> premium finish, so it's multi-lacquer coatings. So it, it's supposed to be very luxury feeling when you touch it and write with it or draw with it. And a genuine incense cedar. So apparently it's made with cedar wood from California and Oregon that sharpens evenly and easily. And I actually had to smell it just to see. And it does smell like cedar. It smells really so good. So if I go to the Paper Mate website, uh, the Mirado Black Wire doesn't have as much information as the Black Wing does. But it says quality wood construction for durability that won't let you down. 100% latex-free smudge-resistant eraser. Keeps your surfaces clean. Pencil with bold number two lead makes writing stand out and is perfect for standardized tests. Matte black barrel provides a sophisticated look. We're gonna try them out. First of all, we're gonna look at just the look and feel of each one and compare it. Then we're gonna do a bit of a writing test and a drawing test. And I'm gonna give you my conclusion at the end, whether I recommend either one of these or both, or if I think they're pretty interchangeable I guess that was my feeling when I bought this one it's like a cheaper version of this I don't know if that's actually what they were going for but I believe Blackwing came first with the black matte design and the Murado followed later so for the Palomino Blackwing it has really nice matte finish it has these gold letters that are really nicely printed and clear it has like a really nice gold I don't know what you call this like the holder of the eraser this metal piece and it has an eraser that's square or rectangular I should say and that you can actually remove and they sell replacement erasers you can also if you're running out of eraser I think you can pull the eraser up um, so just like pull it up if you're running out so you can extend the life of the eraser which I think that's pretty neat and it does sharpen to a really nice really nice point and the wood is really nice and smooth and as I mentioned it smells really nice I actually used a Stiedler sharpener it's a metal sharpener um, to sharpen this it's uh you see so this is a really nice sharpener. You don't want to use a cheap sharpener. 
and ruin it since it's, you know, so uh, precious. Now the Mirado Black Warrior, the letters are not as nicely printed as the Black Wing. If you can see how the gold is kind of not perfectly stamped in there, there's like little pieces of gold. So it kind of looks a little sloppy, to be honest. It does have that matte finish. The wood actually smells really good. I have one that's a little older that I've used that I've actually smelled it and it smells really good. So even if it's not cedar, it still smells good. And uh, the eraser is not replaceable and it's just like your regular number two pencil type of eraser. It works just like a regular pink eraser. So overall, I think the, the lead in the middle is pretty much well centered. Same with the black wig is perfectly centered. Now the black wig comes in different sh grades and looks. So there's actually different types of black wigs that are more, that are harder lead or softer lead have different color erasers and barrels. I'm going to be reviewing the black one just because that is the original one and it's the most used one, the one that I've seen the most people use. So it's kind of the standard one. So overall, in terms of style, black wig wins. It's definitely very stylish, is differentiated, is luxury looking. The craftsmanship, I mean, you can't deny the craftsmanship. It feels really nice in the hand because this is a little adds a little weight so it feels nice when you hold it this one feels like a regular number two pencil the the matte finish is nice but you know it's just like sloppier made not as finely made as the black wig now we're going to do a little bit of a test a writing test and a drawing test so i'm gonna turn the page this is just regular white sketchbook paper, really thin paper. So what I want to do is I want to make sure you can see everything here. So I want to I want to do a quick test of how far it takes the lead to get blunt. So I'm going to go down and put a steady pressure and keep going, keep going, keep going to see how far can the sharp point go. It's really soft lead. Oh my God, it's so soft and smooth. It's very buttery, very buttery. All right, let's do the same with the Black Warrior. I'm actually gonna use the one that I have previously sharpened that it's already I used it before. And I'm going to go down, same thing. I have to say it's not as buttery soft as the black wing. It's a little bit rougher. Okay, so let's look at these lines. If you can tell here, you know, it's like a fine point. It started getting pretty thick. I would say around here, it got pretty thick. The Black Warrior, the line kind of maintained more steady thickness than the Black Wing. So I would say the Black Wing definitely looks like it's a softer lead than the Black Warrior. This one has, says HB2. This is basically a number two pencil. And the black wig doesn't say anything. I'm just gonna test it in a swatch to see how... how thick it gets. Or how dark, I should say, the shading. And how light you can get. 
So I am easing up on the pressure here. So let's get uh, the range of shading that you get. It's pretty wide. It's pretty awesome, actually. Now well, let's try the Black Warrior. You can get similar range. I feel like the black wing is definitely darker. Definitely darker than the black wire. It's definitely softer. Um, I'm just going to write something out here to see how it feels. Whoops. <laughs> this is so much softer. It's really soft, really buttery. You just it glides on the page. It's pretty awesome. I've seen people do calligraphy with, with pencils, like, you know, adding pressure on the downstrokes and not on the upstrokes. And you can even see here, I did that. I tried to do adding pressure on the downstrokes and you can tell the difference of the pressure that I put in the downstrokes. Let me see with this one. You can do the same with the Black Warrior, actually. You can tell that the downstrokes are thicker. So overall, the writing experience for both is pretty good. I would say the Black Wing is definitely softer. Um, than the Black Warrior, but given the price difference and this, this is pretty good for, for the price. I would say it's nicer than a regular number two <clears throat> pencil. And I'm gonna compare it to some artist grade and some regular number two pencils too. I wanna do a smudge test too and an eraser test. So I wanna see how this smudges. So that smudges pretty nicely. I mean, if I'm drawing something, I would like it to smudge, right? So I can soften things. This takes a little bit more for it to smudge, but it, they smudge. I would say this, the black wing smudges more. Definitely this smudges less. So if you don't like smudging and you're writing with it rather than drawing with it, then that might be something to consider. I'm going to try a Stiedler Mars plastic eraser, you know, the typical classic eraser to see how it erases. And they erase about the same. I would say maybe the black wing didn't erase as nicely as the black warrior did. Now I'm going to try the eraser that came with the pencil um, to see how it erases. So it doesn't erase as nice as the, as the white kind of rubber eraser. And let me see the Black Warrior. Ooh. That's not great. That's pretty terrible. It actually smudged. It smudged the. Uh, that's not. That's not nice. Let me try it here. Okay. I think. I don't know. You know these erasers when you leave them out for too long, they get dry. That happens to me. I think the eraser might have dried up with time. This one has been in my drawer about the same time, honestly, and it's not dry. So, uh, I guess I'm not super thrilled with this eraser. But if you would look, like to use regular erasers, then that might not be a problem. But yeah, not great. Not great, definitely. I did say that I was going to um, compare this to some artist pencils. So, let me do that just so you get a sense for... Because I didn't do that at the beginning. 
for how it how dark it is versus like regular artist pencils this is an artist loft hb pencil so i'm just going to actually i'll go to this one this page so we have the lines that we drew here this is an hb artist loft pencil so i feel like it's probably lighter actually than than the black wig let me try this is a blick blick studio hb oh that's really scratchy that's like if you can see that that's really scratchy very thin mm. i yeah this is not definitely not close to it let's go with a b see what this is a B Blick. Still very thin and um, hard, so I wouldn't say it's a B. <laughs> to eh, even feels. Let me see. I'm just doing a bit more of a bigger swatch with each of these. It could be a 2B. I even feels a little lighter than a 2B. Let me go with 3B. <laughs> okay, this feels more like it. Yeah, it's. I think the black wig is closer to a 3B. And so is the black warrior um three or four you could even because 3b is not as common let's go with a 4b let's see oh very smooth very buttery I, I, this actually a 4b feels as smooth and buttery as the black wig that one i think is a pretty close let me try it next to it pretty close comparison so i would say let me try the, this is the Black Warrior. All right. 4B. I would say the Black Wig and the Black Warrior are both closer to a 4B pencil than, 4B artist pencil, than a standard two, number two pencil, even though this one says number two. I don't believe it. It's closer to a 4B. It's very dark. It smudges a lot more than, than a regular HB. So this is like literally a pencil that I got at a hotel. So this is like your regular uh, number two pencil. I don't have like a one of the, you know, yellow number two pencils that... You know, it's just like so much thinner and not nearly as dark as the black wire or the black wig. Not nearly as dark. So definitely closer to a 4B, I would say. All right, so we're going to do a little drawing test and I'm going to try to just draw something really simple. Actually going to use actual drawing paper. I'm going to be using Strathmore, the 400 series drawing paper. And I'm going to draw a pumpkin because it's October and I feel like drawing pumpkins. <laughs> so I'm gonna just do a quick sketch. I might fast forward this part so that you don't have to see the whole drawing process. So I'll fast forward.
All right, so these are the sketches of the two pumpkins. They are very different, actually, I found. Um, the one with the black wig is definitely more expressive than the one with the black warrior. I feel like I was able to, just like the weight of the pencil and the way it feels, I, I was able to handle it better. I was able to get darker darks when sketching with this so there's more contrast than with the black warrior this one is like a little tighter i just it didn't quite flow the same it, it's interesting i didn't expect that i expected them to be quite similar so i actually was kind of surprised about that so there you have it overall my conclusion is that it depends if you want to splurge on a little luxury and get the black wig, you will not be disappointed. It's a great pencil. It feels great on the hand. It's great for drawing and for writing. It's very soft. If you don't wanna spend $2 on a black wig, then I would say the closest match would be to get a number four B artist grade pencil. It's not gonna be as long as the black wig. The black wig, it's longer than most pencils and it has a bit more weight and the feel when you're painting or drawing is a little different but it's the similar um smoothness when you write now the black warrior is a great alternative it's a lot cheaper it's very smooth still much smoother than a number two regular pencil so it's definitely a nicer more luxurious experience that your than your normal pencil but it it isn't as nice as the black wig. So the craftsmanship, the details, just the beautiful design, you know, comes with a price tag. But it is a little luxury that it's only, honestly, it's just $2. And if you don't want to splurge on other art supplies that are more expensive, like paints or brushes or paper, then why not splurge on a small luxury, like a $2 pencil? That might be a good way to go. All right, well, those are my thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something and you found it useful. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more. See you in my next video. Take care.